Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you what I think to be one of the best eval lines in the game. And if you don't know what an eval is, or evaluator, basically a resetter line um, in the game. And just here it is, it's right here. Um, and I'll show right here, just kind of quickly glancing over it, because I'll be building it up, building it up on this video. So, yeah. So stick around for that, but if you just want to take a screenshot of this and build it, that's going to be fine. The one part that will give you trouble is right here. The Black Dwarf and Empyrean, which is probably the most difficult part to get right on this eval line. All the rest doesn't matter, plus these two upgraders right here could be any upgraders. I was just using Trinity and Perspective Work and Big Fungus as an example. But yeah, let's just get straight into building this, shall we? Uh, let's build it alongside. Uh, you don't have to, of course, the... The platform height is really just kind of, you don't need it to be this tall or this, you know, this tall. Um, but you do have to have it so that Imperial Monument, it has to be at least this tall. At least this tall. Um, just because Imperial Monument won't get its full multiplier. You can do it lower, but Imperial Monument will be getting a less, lesser uh, multiplier. So, yeah. But yeah, let's anyways, I'm going to use a different... Um, a teleporter for this just be for the fact um, that I'm already using green and and it'd just be weird if I don't so if I do use that so let's just do that and I'm using dragon cannon this does work only with dragon cannon real gun cannon the velocity is a little bit too high I mean not velocity the arc is a little bit too high with it so it kind of just kind of breaks so yeah anyways your first um, your platform if you're using Trinity gear work and big fungus is would be so you see right there is level you go one two three down and then you place that right there and then you put a trinity which i actually don't have a trinity so i'm gonna just take it from that i don't have another trinity and i'm but i'm gonna also take another virtual gear work because the virtual gear work can be a little weird to set up some at sometimes but i find that, that just putting it like right here and making sure it's rotated and put it like that. And that usually gives you the best result. And next will actually be Big Fungus, which Big Fungus, ah, I do not actually have a Big Fungus, another Big Fungus, so I'll just use this. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't matter if it's forward or backwards, and if you do want to test if it's working, I would just let it run through a teleporter, and the same teleporter you use for it. If you're using a teleporter, if you're using a turn there, then then you just want to put a teleporter at, at the end still to your start of your setup to see if it actually is hitting, because it, sometimes it can be very awkward if it's hitting or not. I, I found that to be the case. So now the next platform, if you're using this um, tactic where I'm using Big Fungus and Trinity, you, you're level with that, but then you go up two. Ah. I'm a sorry, you have to go up three. My mistake. That's fine. But this is probably the hardest part of this entire build, is um, leveling up uh, making sure the black dwarf hits which um, is not the hardest th th and also I do have to note shiny black dwarf does not work for this setup if you wanted to try a shiny black dwarf sadly it doesn't have the same hitbox as black dwarf black dwarf does have in fact a glitched hitbox that even allow that allows us to actually work and uh, next is actually the Empyrean monument Empyrean monument what I um, I only have one so I have to take it from the other setup but uh, what I find is just put an Empyrean uh, Monument on a platform, make sure it's level right there, and so you don't want to do it all the way to the end of the conveyor, you want to do it one away. And when you, if you do it one away, it, it, it's a lot better, trust me. Um, okay, yeah. it's hard to line it up sometimes. So, what I find the easiest way to do this is just let's go in this angle and kind of um, see where the where you're colliding with Big Mongus and if, it, if the second it goes blue, that means you want to go one set away. And make sure it's lined up. And there you go. It goes, it will go through and hit the Empyrean Dwarf, Empyrean, and hit the Dwarf at the same time. So it'll hit both. And next is actually the probably the easiest part of this, the eval line. What you want to make sure to do though, is instead of, you have to line it up, so it has to be uh, I would, I'm just gonna go from where the, the black dwarf thing is to so go one, up one, two, three, four. And when you do that, you want to actually put it a little bit offset, like about right around there. Um, yeah. 
and make sure in that in fact the platform is in fact one away from the Imperium door Imperium monument. If it isn't, it will actually um, cause some issues. And it has to be uh, right there. And then you just have to do evals. I don't have any more evals, so I have to kind of steal them. But yeah, I in fact, sorry about that, I in fact have screwed it up a little bit. And there we go. That's about the correct placement. And what you want to do is just do two evals like this. Um, if you do it the other way, it will not work. Well, it will work, it's just not as consistent. It won't be nearly as consistent. This is still not 100% consistent, but it's around like 95 to like 99% consistent. So that's what I've found. So now let's switch uh, the heavy mine to orange so that I can see the ores go through here. And you can see they just, they go through no problem. There's no ores that are actually dying, which is good. And what I find is that you want to use Devourer Nightmares as a furnace because it's actually a very small furnace. It's one of the more smaller enchanted furnace and it's actually pretty good. So yeah, uh, basic furnace. I just do that as a testing measurement, see how much money the ores are worth. And next is actually, in fact, um, another hydraulic. Uh, and that's where you put your Tesla, Daystrophy, and Final Upgrader. Earlier versions of this setup did in fact um, use Final Upgrader then Days Free, but we found that Days Free before Final Upgrader actually makes the setup slightly faster, so it doesn't really matter if you don't um, use Days Free first, um, but it, it, it will in fact make it a little bit faster. I also found that the eval right there, and then another eval right there, and Final Upgrader right there. with. The Green teleporters, well, in this case, orange teleporters, and orange and orange. And then let's just really quickly do orange. And this tutorial will sell, um, set you up with like generally the evaluators. This is very uh, generalized evaluator, evaluator, sorry, um, setup where you want to go about NVG and below. Uh, and then for the next one, you probably want to go. I would say, oh, sorry. I usually, what, what I do is that I usually do around SX and ON, just because then that almost guarantees, it doesn't guarantee, but almost guarantees um, Centillion or um, NON and above. So yeah, I don't know why I can't set that, <laughs> weird. But, and then the next one, I find that NQDDR is the best for that one. And next one, it's a little bit of a jump, but it goes straight up to, ha, uh, I find it to be NVSXGNTL. So yeah, and there, there we go, that's the setup right there, that's the valve line. I'm going to try and go around, see, check it out, and yeah. I'll also load in a setup that actually does in fact use this. Let me actually quasar the ores really quickly, so that I don't have to be dealing with the ore limit. And uh, also set your ore limit to 10 while doing this. It's probably, it will be a little laggy and not, it won't really work if your ore limit is very high. Which means, which will in turn have a lot of ores. But yeah, as you can see right here, um, I have a minus blaster, let me just remove that so I don't get killed. But here you go, NVG. Um, this one uses SX and ON. NQDR, DDR, and NVSXGNTL. And when you do that, it should, in fact, work. And here's my setup to 0.6.7. You probably can't do it just because it's it requires a lot of items that, that are unobtainable now. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye now.